Hello everybody! School has got canceled. We are minus 25 outside. It is horrible, horrible. Today is Griffin's second neurology appointment um, for a second opinion about his MRI. We can talk about everything with him, what's been going on. Everyone woke up like they had like a bucket of sugar. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is normal. Griffin over here is staying out of the trouble. You stayed out of trouble? And you woke up with bedhead. Like, look at that bad hair, man. What are we gonna do about that? That is some bad, that is some bedhead. Griffin has bedhead. Whoa. He's been doing a lot better. Um, only, again, a couple drop balls a day and the shaking while he crawls and moves. <sighs> They're fighting. Help me. Patience, help. Um, just please don't fight for one minute, please. Um, where'd Griffin go? Where's Griffin? Ponzi. <laughs> Guys, it's 6.30 in the morning right now. That's how they woke up. Will's getting up early from work. Me and my dad, I guess, are going to neurology um, in this horrible weather, and I'm scared to death to drive in it. Um, that's what's going on. No, I gotta survive daddy. this morning. I'm scared to death. Wish me luck. No. <gasps> Posey is kissing the window. I what? do not know why. Cause it's so cold. Is it cause it's so cold? It's yeah. We actually have frost a little bit on the inside. Like all the caulking cracked. We have to recock. It's crazy. Is it cold? Yeah. Yes, it is. Huh. Yeah. Huh. There's Griffin. But at least it's sunny out. It's usually not sunny here, huh? No. What are you doing? Is it cold? Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna go upstairs and play in a few minutes, huh? What are you guys doing in blankets? We're having it. We're having a fun. It's so funny though. We want to. <laughs> do any of your guys' kids do this? Get in blankets. What do you want? You can't have this. All the stuff is off limits, Griff. So Griffin's uh, neurology appointment for a second opinion for his MRI and everything um, is in a few hours. We'll be home in a couple hours. And I wanted to give you guys a little recap on why we're doing this. Because if anyone knew who doesn't know, I wanted this to explain really, really quick. Griffin had an MRI several, several months ago. We got the results saying that he had cerebral palsy. Um, something was wrong with his brain. Um, we were pretty much that's what was happening. Um, they said that it wasn't. They said that they couldn't tell exactly what was happening with his brain, but they thought it was cerebral palsy. When he got diagnosed with Angelman syndrome, it all got taken away. I don't know why. I don't know why they would just say, like they literally said to us, his brain's fine. Um, we went back for uh, like just a checkup with him, with them. Um, so. We got very confused. We asked them. They said that radi radiologists sometimes can make mistakes or they're looking for things or blah, 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 blah. We just want to double check that nothing's wrong with his brain. Um, this is not because we want him to be a cerebral palsy or anything. This is just because we don't understand why they would say one thing and then take it back. That's it. Um, I don't, I mean, I, we all know that we, I think everyone knows we think he has anal syndrome. I just, we want to get one more opinion just to see and yeah just that's it so that's what we're doing today um we leave soon i smell a stinky diaper and i think it might be this little girl over here who's playing with her sound machine <gasps> what are you doing no so my kids took all their stuff out of their beds and put it in the pile <laughs> in the middle of the room they say it's to protect them from allergies it's gonna rain okay I didn't know that. So they're playing. Let me check on Griffin. You Griffin. Hi, honey. You playing? Look out the window. So another thing with Griffin that I said before, since these, the shakings, the seizures, whatever they are, uh, have started, he's been very tired. Very, very tired. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone else is kind of playing. He just sits on the couch sometimes and just wants his head held. Just doesn't want to do anything. Um, which is not his normal self. Uh, he was—he's he's usually a go, go, go kind of guy. 
but right now it's really hard for him. He gets really tired, and yeah, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I wish we knew what was going on, hun. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna sit with Mama. You can sit with me. Feel how tired you look. Oh, I know. And so you're playing with cars right now. Room, room, room. That's a big car for that, honey. You make it work, huh? There's Pose. Posey, bye bye. See, that's how Griffin was. Just busy, always going places, always doing something. Um, now it's just he just kind of hangs out with me a lot, huh? That's okay. I like the company. It's okay. Oh, my belly doesn't. <laughs> oh, your sister's going. Why? Why are you rolling all over me? Huh? Oh, hugging the camera. Hugging our friends. <laughs> all right, we are in the car with my dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> and we got Griffin back here who needs to take a nap. We had to put a big puffy coat on you because it is so cold, it hurts. It's painful. We unzipped it so it's not too hot. Um, it's just, it's really cold. Like it's cold still in the car. It's not good. <laughs> Minus 13, I thought it was minus 20s. I, was, I think that was this morning. But yeah, so it's it's really, really bad. Um, and the roads are icy, so we gotta take it slow, and yeah. We're heading there, and yeah. Let you know how it goes. I have no idea what to expect. I, I just hope for more answers, so we'll see. All right, guys, we are here. My dad's getting Griffin out. It's freezing. I'm gonna go fill out some people. Let you know how it goes. So, I couldn't film in there at all. The office was teeny tiny. The doctor was right there. This is a private neurologist. It's just her that runs the practice and her secretary. Basically, she says, because he has digressed with walking and his physicality, that it cannot be CP. We talked about the MRI. We talked about what it showed and the copus colostrum, I think is what it's called. She was saying that the radiologist was right to see something but was his wording was strong that she wouldn't have used the wording that he used that there was a, that there was damage um but she can see what he was seeing but she said it does not look like somebody who had a traumatic birth um that it doesn't look like that she did talk about how when you search angel man that that is part of one of the mris that it could show that the copus colostrum has is smaller or whatever so basically it's not cp <clears throat> and that it's Angelman, which was what everybody thought, but I had to get this cleared up because it was really weird how it went from one to another. Um, when he was there, he did have, end up having um, three of the drop seizures, or whatever you want to call it. She was still, no one's convinced by, by them. Basically, we're gonna do the EEG next week in that we're gonna see if he needs to be put on medication. I did ask her about the keto diet. This is the one thing I didn't agree with. She said that not to do the keto diet, that it, he needs to, if he would need to be under medical supervision if he was on it, that he'd have to have zero sugars. Um, and from what I researched, it's like the Atkins diet. You know, he can have a certain amount of carbs, you know, what foods not to eat. Um, again, if your children or, or you or anyone you know are on this diet for anything, please let me know your experience um, and what your doctors have said because I don't, this lady was very uh, anti-keto diet. <laughs> and so I don't, I don't know, I, I'm more the natural person. I would love for him not to get medicine um, if he doesn't have to be. So we are on our way home. <laughs> Griffin is doing really good. Say hi, Griffin. Oh, he's asleep. Did you go to sleep? Oh, he's out. Okay, <laughs> he's out. Um, yeah, so we'll be home soon, and we'll keep going with this day. All right, so Griffin and Mommy are home. We just had dinner. Oh, what's the matter? Hi, Sawyer. Hi. What you want to do? You gonna take my hand? Then what? Ready? Whoa! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Watch where you're going. Alright, everybody's in pajamas. It's bedtime. Emily's done working. 
Everybody's heading up the stairs. Get your beds made up. Yeah, we'll come for you. I'm gonna get you, Puzzy. You better go. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Puzzy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Please keep Griffin in your prayers. Um, because he needs them, guys. He really needs them. And thank you for all your amazing comments on the last few videos. Your support, your kindness. Have, it's just it's gone a long way for me because I'm definitely highly emotional, highly hormonal, highly stressed about the situation and feeling very um, pulled because Griffin needs us and we're there for him. We have he's got family support, but I I'm trying to prepare for a baby too. Um, so I just I'm so thankful for all your amazing comments because it definitely helps me stay positive through this. Um, so thank you and we will see you next time don't forget um follow us on facebook instagram and twitter because when i go into labor that is where i will be announcing it um we might do a video here i don't know yet i haven't had a chance to film anything so if i do get a chance to i will um yeah so all that will be in the links down in the description box below sorry for that rambling thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time don't forget you're wonderful bye bye say good night good night Yay!